Hey everyone, I'm Eddie and you are watching my review on Missing, the predecessor of Searching, a movie that came out in 2018. Now, I'm going to say this right now because I feel like there's going to be people that are going to be comparing Searching and Missing. I've never seen Searching. It came out in 2018. I've tried to find it on some of the streaming platforms that I'm subscribed to. Couldn't find it and I'm not going to go out of my way to rent it. So without further ado, I would say Missing is just as good as probably searching could be but this movie's pretty good every fan every casual fan of movies that has gone to watch this movie has enjoyed this movie because it's kept them on the edge of their seat through and through and me as someone that is very picky with their suspense in movies this movie it was pretty good all the suspense every time they drop the new layer of of the plot, a uh, new piece of information. I felt like it was crucial to the entire movie. I never felt like this movie had fluff in it. Like they were just dragging something or they just dropped information that you probably didn't care for. Uh, there might have been maybe a scene or two where they did drag a little too long. But I didn't mind it. This movie, it didn't feel its length. Um, an hour and 51 minutes. It didn't feel its length. And I feel like when you watch a movie, you should be able to watch it without wondering, when is this movie over? And this movie delivered on that. Now, let me get into the main characters of this movie, played by Storm Reid and Nia Long. June is the daughter of Grace, who is a teenager, tech savvy, knows what to do with the internet and knows how to use the internet and knows how to use her phone, her laptop, everything. And even though this teenager went out of her own way to investigate everything that was going on with her mother because the mother went missing, I felt it is pretty essential to know everything that Storm Reed's character June does in this movie because, you know, it'd be useful to know all the tools at your disposal when you're trying to find someone or something. And it's just crazy to me how we have so much to be able to reach out uh, at like another country. Now, of course, maybe some pieces are exaggerated. Of course, I've never had to find anyone. Hopefully, I never have to that was kidnapped or taken from another country. But... A lot of this stuff feels like, yeah, I could probably just type something up on the internet, find that, and, you know, connect pieces and, you know, so on, so on and so forth. Storm Reed did an impeccable job in being this teenager that was trying to find her mother and just doing anything in her power to be able to find her own mother because the FBI was just taking too long and she didn't depend on them because it looked like it comes off as the FBI didn't care to find Grace, June's mother. So yeah, she went out of her own way and did whatever she could. And it was written in a, in a way where I felt like a lot of kids might have done to find their own uh, family members. So job well done by the writers and the director of finding the right tone and the good timing of everything between her and the FBI, the agent, were uh, communicating. That was that was good stuff. What I also found to be quite a pleasurable and appreciative was the whole... Obviously, you're watching the movie through a screen grab. I think it was very... A very nice touch for the director to have the mouse just creep over to a link or to just pause when someone was typing and then when the typing was stopped and there was nothing on the screen. Those little pauses did add a little something to the movie that I felt if they just went straight to it, it probably wouldn't have added as much suspense. But... It's just a little a little thing that I wanted to put out there for everyone that's going to watch the movie. It's it's pretty good work. I gave this movie a score on IMDb 8 out of 10 and its average score through 1.8 thousand viewers 
it has an average of 7.4 out of 10 stars. It's still a pretty good movie and I think that rating on IMDb does justice for this movie. The only thing I would say about this movie that I didn't like too much was sometimes it felt like something was just a little too cheesy. I don't want to spoil too much until I get to the trailer. There are some points in the movie where I felt like maybe this might not have worked out in their favor, but I'll let you be the judge of it once you see the movie for yourself. But without further ado, let's get into the trailer, which I have not seen. I'm watching this for the first time. Let's see how much this movie spoils. Well, this trailer spoils. You need to let the police handle this. I tried. I'm not giving up on my mom. Siri, call June. Mom, this is FaceTime. Oh, gosh. I need you to write a couple of things down. The car keys. I just said write it down. You're not writing it down. Kevin and I are headed to LAX, and we need you to pick us up on Monday. Keep your location on the entire time I'm away. No fun. Got it. Hi, this is Grace Allen. Please leave a message. Mom, where are you guys? My mom never came home from her trip. I don't know where she is. I'm calling about a guest you had. Espere, no habla español? Um, does anyone speak English? Uh, I'm sorry. This is Elijah Park. Please, I need your help. The FBI doesn't have jurisdiction to investigate in Colombia. So is there anything I can do? The best thing you can do to help us is just wait by your phone. Say okay, hi, Mommy. <laughs> hi, Junebug. I'm not giving up on my mom. There's got to be a way to find her. Miss Kuchas. I need you to go to this hotel and ask for their security footage. The cleaning senora says she sees two American tourists at the hardware store. What did he buy? Just this. You think he did something to her? You're going through Kevin's email? You need to let the police handle this. I tried, but we're running out of time. Who are these people? This woman calls him Darren. You weren't going to tell me my mom was dating a felon? You need to trust me on this. Shocking new footage has leaked online. No, no! I have some questions regarding something we're looking into. Has your mom ever gone by any other names? What? The strangest case I've ever seen. There may be more than meets the eye. There are some legit questions. Hey, Junebug. There's actually a lot I want to talk with you about. <gasps> oh, my God. Someone's here. Here is where we get into some spoiler talk. First thing I like that they didn't put into the trailer was that June did not indicate in the trailer that she hated or really didn't like her mom. They did that right. There is an element to the movie when you watch it that as it gets closer to her missing, she's just like, oh my goodness, I don't think I have my mom anymore. So I do enjoy that the trailer didn't release that information. What I didn't like is that they reveal Grace's boyfriend was a felon. That's a pretty big twist in the movie for me. And it made me just open my eyes like there's no way that happened. They might have gotten away with an even better movie with even better reviews had they not shown that. And then maybe to an extent not show the kidnapping of Grace and her husband Kevin. Because that kind of does give away a little bit of the movie itself as well. And even worse, the FBI releases the info that Nia Long's character Grace has another alias. That's also another big plot point because it ties into the relationship the daughter has with her mother. And like I mentioned before, she already sort of hated her which i won't reveal why because there is a big twist of why she hates her it'll all make sense when you watch the movie just watch the movie there's a lot of heavy stuff that june goes through that i think uh didn't need to be shown here 
at this point you kind of just uh you're just gonna see how she reacts how june reacts to this information the felon also grace herself having a different identity if i had to say anything about this trailer it just doesn't reveal one or two things about this movie that i think is the biggest reveal to the, the entire movie I'm really trying not to spoil anything. But I'll give this trailer... I think I'll just give this trailer a 2 out of 5. Just because a lot of the things that they mention and that's on screen here did give away a little too much for my liking. Anyway, are you going to go watch Missing? Let me know what you think in the comments about this movie. Are you going to go watch it? Have you seen it? Are, are you in the same boat? Did this trailer give too much? Maybe you've seen the trailer before watching the movie? Because I didn't uh let me know what you think drop some comments like the video share the video subscribe i would really love it i'm gonna do a lot more of this stuff and any subscriptions any likes is going to be a huge boost into me doing this long term so thank you guys all for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one which might be uh ant-man and the in the quantum realm whatever i I've avoided as much I can, as much as I can from that movie. But I'll see you guys on the next one.